Okay, once again, welcome to episode 10 of the Unknown Asylum Podcast. We're getting ready to watch Payback, the 2023 pay-per-view for the WWE. And the kickoff show is just getting started right now. Kickoff show is getting started. We're going to see Sensuke Nakamura take on Seth freaking Rollins tonight. We're going to have Rhea Ripley taking on Raquel Raquel Rodriguez tonight. We're going to have Ellie Knight taking on The Miz tonight. It's going to be a snack night tonight at the overall here on um, Payback Pay Review. Which is starting in about one hour's time. I don't have anything planned for the kickoff show, but I turned on the kickoff show anyway as I prepare my journey to, to wrestling for a college show nigga this Wednesday night when Wednesday night Fahrenheit night returns. I'm going to scoop him once again with watching the payback pay per view and by, um, by watching the payback pay per view and by. Recording my podcast tonight. I, I really, uh, tonight should be wild, all right? Tonight should be wild. And I'm looking forward to Ra- Raquel Rodriguez and Rhea Ripley. And I'm looking forward to Rhea Ripley retaining her championship tonight. I don't, know, I don't know what I'm looking forward to most, but whether it's the Rhea Ripley or Ra- Raquel Rodriguez match tonight, or it was tomorrow night, Chris Statlander versus, versus, um, what's your name? Right, Ruby Riot, Ruby Soho. I'm going to get it out. I'm going to get it out. Chris Statlander faces Ruby Soho for the TBS championship. Which one of the championship am I looking for to most this weekend? I don't know. That's hard to say. I'm a Rhea Ripley fan, but I'm also a, a Chris Statlander fan um, more so than anybody else right now. And, um, any other female wrestler right now, put it that way. So let's get this kickoff show started and just to see what happens tonight. Like I said, I'm just right here scooping wrestling for a cause Chattanooga for my Unknown Asylum podcast episode 10 on this payback pay review. And um, they're going over the matches right now. Like I said earlier, it's going to be Seth freaking Rollins against Shinsuke Nakamura. The world championship, and um, they, they're announcing LA Knight versus the Miz. LA Knight's hot right now. I'm telling you, right now, LA Knight is championship material waiting all over him. The Grayson Waller effect with special guest Cody Rhodes. I thought that was gonna be a match. This is usually my talk show segment. I'm honest to God. Honest to God, I haven't kept up with WWE as much as I should. And um, it just, it's, it's going to be um, a still cage match with Becky Lynch and Trish Paris. I knew they were facing tonight, but I didn't know it was going to be a still cage match. So that's a surprise to me. Like I said, I haven't been keeping up with WWE as much as I should. It's been, it's been kind of crazy. It's been crazy as far as... um. My, you know, it goes with um, watching WWE because I'm not, I'm not getting back into watching the pay per views and not watching the shows. Eventually, I'll get around to watching all of it, I promise you. This is going to be a hard fought match between Rhea Ripley tonight and Raquel Rodriguez. United States Championship match with um, Rey Mysterio and Austin Theory. That should be an interesting match. That should be an interesting match right there. Oh, man, there we go. There's the match that surprised me. Balor and Priest teaming up for the tag team titles against KO and O. Sami Zayn. There we go. Like I said, I haven't been keeping up with uh, WWE as much as I should. I've been watching AEW more so than anything. And um, I need to get back to watching WWE. I need to get back to watching um, Impact. And I need to get back to watching Ring of Honor. I mean, I just, it's, it's, it's sad. I'm in the position that I'm in today. Being the journalist for Wrestling for a Cause Chattanooga, and I'm mostly reading the news articles more so than watching the actual wrestling for most of these companies, and um, that's bad on my end. And um, I claim that I claim that that's bad on my end, and that um, it's just one of those things. I'll, I'll take fault for that, 
But I'm, I'm planning on turning it around. Turning it around. Oh, man. I'm telling you what, Judgment Day, that's, that's an awesome group. And, you know, I didn't, I didn't know if I'd like it after Edge was, you know, dismissed from their group, but, um, they've grown on me, let's say. They've grown on me. I'm telling you what, man, it's going to be an awesome night tonight. I still say that, um, I still say that, um, oh, Damian Priest and Finn Balor, that group is just, it's not, I don't think it's going to call, call exist that much after that night. I mean, that briefcase and Finn Balor hasn't been world champion since he won the world championship, the universal championship at SummerSlam a few years back. You know, I mean, you think you think they would get? You think after Finn Balor came back years ago, they would have got their world champ, the Universal Championship, or a championship back? I mean, you, you would just think it would happen. I mean, since it wasn't his fault he got hurt at SummerSlam, I mean, it wasn't his fault he got hurt at SummerSlam, and um, and you know, you think he would have got the championship back? It just it's just crazy, man. Pittsburgh still see street fight. There we go. Let's see here. I don't know. I don't know any kickoff shows. Anybody know the kickoff show? Anybody know the kickoff matches? I mean, honest to God, this is the first WWE pay per view I've watched live in a long time, and um, I've been trying to go back and watch them after the fact. But um, that hasn't always came through. Like I said, I've been picking up, picking up different news feeds and um, news articles from other places on Facebook, filling me in on everything that I need to know about. And I haven't really been watching it. But that changes tonight. Wow, it's gonna be a wild night tonight. Pittsburgh Steel City Street Fight, a cage match. It's going to be wild. Oh. Pittsburgh Steel City Street Fight. I'm telling you what, you know they're they're going over to India soon for that big tag team match, and um, so with that being said, my prediction is KO and Sami Zayn is going to hold on to the belts to um bring those belts to India and defend those belts over there. If you're going to have a heel versus face match, you know you're not going to have two heels facing off in India. It's going to be wild. I mean, I, you know, like I said, I don't know which women's match I'm looking forward to most this weekend, especially now that I found out that the the, the Becky Lynch, Trish Stratus match is going to be in a cage. Man, that's three wild women's matches going on this weekend with um, the two here tonight and uh, Chris Statlander and Ruby Soho tomorrow night. It's just, it's just a wild weekend for women's wrestling. But um, I, I just tell you what, I, I'm, why is it, why is it they haven't put the strap back on Finn Balor yet? I mean, like I said, he lost, you know, he, 
It wasn't his fault he got injured in the Seth Rollins match at SummerSlam a few years ago. It wasn't his fault at all. And um, he's been back for years and they still haven't put the world title on him. Or a world title on him. I mean, let's just, I mean, fine, fine, fine. Roman has had all the belts for a few years. Well, Roman is going to have the belts a little bit longer. I guarantee you, Roman's going to break Hogan's record. At least break Hogan's record before he loses the belts. That's my understanding of the fact. And, um, so, he, that, I mean, that's, that's why, that's why the WWE came out with the World Heavyweight Championship. And that's why they came out with the World Heavyweight Championship is because they want Roman to hold the belts and break all these records. And they needed a world championship to be, you know, to be on the line week after week or month after month on a more routine basis than Roman putting the belts on the line. I mean, Raw wanted a belt. USA Network wanted a belt. That's why they got the belt. That's why they got the belt that Seth Rollins holds and is putting on the line tonight against Sinsuke Nakamura. That's what, I mean, that's, that's just the whole, whole deal here. That's why Raw got a belt. Just going to listen momentarily to um, them talking about this Pittsburgh City, still, Pittsburgh still, still City Street Fight match. I'm just telling you that. To, She's going to listen here. I'm going to tell you these predictions. I'm going Sammy and KO too. Because I, you're not going to see a, a heel versus heel team facing off at each other and get in India. You're just not going to do it. We've got 47 minutes left until the actual show kicks off. What's this Kurt Angle show coming out? I'm telling you what, LA Knight is hot. Oh, man. Special guest referee John Cena. That should be interesting.
LA Knight, man, he's hot. He's hot. He, um, you know, I'm surprised he didn't want money in the bank. I am. I'm trying to angle this better. I'm surprised LA Knight didn't win money in the bank. I really am. Yeah, he, he was he was the chosen one. He was the one everybody wanted to win. He didn't win. One of those things. Just one of those things. And like I said, we are live here on here at the tenth tenth episode of the Unknown Asylum Podcast. We're we're here watching WWE Payback 2023, and we're just going to see where WWE goes from here. I'm telling you, look, let's, let's, let's just talk about The Miz right now. Let's just talk about The Miz, let's talk about MJF, and let's talk about 2024. MJF says there'll be a bidding war in 2024, but I'm just telling you right now, like I said on Wednesday Night Fahrenheit, Will there be two Mrs. in WWE in 2024 if, if you know, if AEW doesn't come up with the money to keep MJF and MJF comes to um, WWE? Will there be two Miz characters in WWE in 2024? It's just wild. It's wild. The wild thought MJF being in WWE. But of course, anybody knows they would start off. They would start him off in, in the next NXT. I don't see them starting. I don't see them starting MJF off in on the main brand. Any of the main, either of the main brands. I really don't. They would start him off in NXT, and then when they bring him up, you know, to, to Raw or SmackDown, it's, it's going to be. Will there be two Miz characters? That's the main quirk. Main, question. Will there be two Miz characters in 2024? I mean, it's just not going to happen. It's, I mean, it's just it's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, I, I'm just saying. Miz will not start off in anywhere but NXT. Not Miz. MJF. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I miss, misspoke there. I'm just going to listen momentarily to the commentators here and see what's going on. Because, I mean, these are some hot matches tonight. Miz versus, um, yeah, the Miz versus LA Knight. Trish, with, with Miz versus LA Knight with John Cena as the special guest ref. Trish Stratus and Becky Lynch in, in the cage. That's wild. That's wild in its own right. Raquel Rodriguez versus Rhea Ripley for the women's belt. That's wild. And it's just, you know, Shinsuke Nakamura challenging for the World Heavyweight Championship against, you know, Seth freaking Rollins. And, you know, you know, one thing that Seth Rollins uh, has admitted lately, he's been wrestling with a broke back. He's been wrestling with a broke freaking back talking about Seth freaking Rollins. I mean, it's just wild. It's wild. And, you know, that makes me question, is he going to retain tonight? That makes me question, will Seth retain tonight because he's been wrestling with the broke back? Maybe he needs some time off to heal or to, you know, get over himself, get over that situation. So will he retain tonight? I'm really not sure. I'm not sure about which way that match is going to go, which way that match is going to fall, who's going to leave with the championship. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like I like I said more than once, this weekend is a hot weekend for women's wrestling, and I'm I'm telling you this. You know, I'm looking forward to tomorrow night more so than anything. I'm looking forward to tomorrow night more so than anything when Ruby Soho challenges for the TBS Championship against my favorite female wrestler right now, Chris Statlander. And that's just one of those things. That's what I'm looking forward to tonight's hot. Tonight's hot, but you know, tomorrow night is to me is the night that I'm looking forward to. Thank you. 
I'm just saying, LA Knight's hot right now. He deserves a belt. He deserves a belt. He deserves a championship. I mean, I liked LA Knight as Eli Drake and, you know, NWA. And NWA, you know, when he was in NWA. I, you know, I didn't really watch him as much in Impact Wrestling as Eli Drake. And I didn't watch him as much in Eli, as Eli Drake in um, WWE, I mean, in Impact Wrestling. Because, I mean, Impact Wrestling didn't have a um, TV deal at the time. You had to watch them on Twitch. And I didn't get on Twitch to watch wrestling. I just didn't do it. Um, so I I, understand, I know he is a world champion there. But I cannot tell you to save my life who he won the world champion from. Or who he's put that championship up against. I can't tell you none of that. Because I don't know. But, I mean... He, 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 he was, he was a world champion there when nobody was watching. Thirty-five minutes. Thirty-five minutes. Y'all do payback. Kicks off officially. I'm telling you what. It's just wild. Man, tonight's just gonna be wild. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering where this Cody Road thing, Cody Road thing's gonna go. It's because I mean, I mean, where's it gonna go? Is he going to go all the way to, you know, WrestleMania 40? Is it going to be a Rock and Cena over again? You know, uh, yeah, the Rock and Cena 2 over, like, like back to back. Is it going to be uh, Reigns and Rhodes 2, you know, WrestleMania 40 coming up? I mean, it's just, it's just one of those things that's just wild. I mean, it's, it's, it's long-term storytelling. I mean, that's what we've, we've talked about on Wednesday Night Fair Night. Long term storytelling. It's just, it's just, where's, I mean, I don't, I do not know where Rhodes is going to go from here. I mean, and his feud with Lesnar is obviously over with. I mean, who's next? Who's, who's, who's next between Rhodes and the Royal Rumble and uh, WrestleMania? 
It's just, then it's like, it could be a complete swerve, man. It could be a complete swerve. Rhodes might not win the Royal Rumble. Or somebody else might win the Royal Rumble. I mean, L.A. Knight, he, you know, he, he, he's, a, he's a strong favorite. He's a strong favorite and, and um, a number one apparel seller on WWEshop.com for, um, I believe it was August. So, I mean, so by the time it gets to the point for the WrestleMania match against whoever, it's like there's no telling who's going to be in that match other than um, Roman Reigns. I mean, that's one thing's for sure. I mean, that's just, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. And I'm trying, you know, we're 33 minutes until, until the thing actually kicks off and starts. And um, anybody watching, you know, type in your, your predictions for tonight. Let me just see some predictions. If anybody's out there watching, let's see some predictions for tonight about the different matches. Just shoot them out there to me. I mean, I've been silent for a little while. And it's just like, one of the, you know, I was just trying to get filled in on the, on the commentary team here and try to, you know, just come up with my own uh, ideas for tonight. It's just, it's just wild. 32 minutes. Just a, getting, getting cut down to 30, a little over 33 minutes. I mean, I don't know what the first match is going to be tonight. Said we're here at episode ten of the Unknown Asylum podcast. Grace and Waller's just jabbering jaws right now, and um, I see my friend Fly guys watch me for a little while, and, and um, so with that being said, uh, Fly guy, I want you to know we're friends, bud. Appreciate everything you've done for me. You, know, you are the wrestling park cause, Chattanooga World Champion, and you're the champion for a reason. And I want you to know, with that being said, with that being laid out there first, you know that you know that Mike Clay deserves a rematch. Yeah, you know, the board we're going to get into it. I know we're going to get into it when the time comes. And they quit dodging me. They quit blocking me out. Coming on to Fahrenheit, and they quit, quit shutting me out. They quit shutting me out. Uh, not telling me when the event is going to be done in Fahrenheit's going to air. Not having me on air. And it's just knowing that I'm busy and then showing up this, showing the, the you know, the, showing the championship match over and over and over and over again. It's just ridiculous. You know, Mr. Wizard, the professor, you know, he, he's, you know, I, I could tell he, he was just enjoying it. He was just enjoying playing that championship game for me sitting there. And just, you know, just enjoying it. Just, he, he just enjoying it way too, too much. Too much. But just enjoying it too much playing that video. Then, um, the next week playing the video again. And, um, it's just, you jump the line and fly down. Or you at least should let Mike Clay get some rest in him. You know, he should get some rest. You know, give it a few months. But no, no. We just had to have the match at Wrestling for a Cause. And um, I'm friends with you both. I'm friends with you both. I mean, it's like, you know, Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty all over again. Because y'all are my friends. I don't want to see y'all go at it. I've seen y'all go at it in the past WWE shows. And I, you know, I 
I seen y'all go ahead and it, you know, you know, Chattanooga Championship Wrestling shows, and just you know, it just it's hard. It's hard to see y'all go ahead, but. There was, there was a time and a place for everything, and it, it wasn't the time for, if we didn't have the same shit, guy, it wasn't. I mean, we're friends, but I mean, we're friends. I, I appreciate you. I really do. And, you know, if, if anybody can, there's, there's nobody that can be champion but Mike Clay, but, but, you know, but Mike Clay, I'd rather see that title on you, guy. I'm serious. But, you know, there's a time and a place for everything. And the board, I'm telling you what. I hate to get into this on episode 10 of the Unknown Asylum podcast. I hate to get into this right now about wrestling for a cause when we have a WWE pay-per-view going on. But the board's dodging me. The board's dodging me. I got a petition written, signed, signed out by numerous people. I'm planning on getting the divorce box man to run those names up, up the screen like, like a Star Wars movie. Honestly. And it's just... I gotta calm myself down. Usa, Usa, Usa. You know, I'm just, I'm getting, get a little, I'm getting a little, get a little, get, get a little, little, little um, frustrated right here. And um, but I got the petition signed, right? I got the petition signed, and um, the Mike Play Championship rematch needs to happen. It needs to happen. And um, I'm just trying to trying to watch Payback, and um, and now they're advertising um, Becky Lynch and um, Trish Stratus in the steel cage, and that's what I need to concentrate on right now. The Fly Guy, I'm, I'm telling you, we're friends, bud. I mean, you know, we're friends. And um, I'm, I'm just saying that um, I appreciate everything you've done for me, and um, but Mike Clay deserves his rematch. I mean, daggum, it's just a terrible situation. It's just a terrible t- situation for, you know, mm. I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just focus on payback right now. Becky Lynch, Trish Strath, still cage match. Let's be wild. Gonna be wild. Yeah. Just gonna listen to commentary for a minute.
I guess there's not going to be a kickoff for this match. I don't know. We're almost 20 minutes toward the main pay-per-view, so I don't know. I mean, let's just get get the you know steel cage match with Becky Lynch and Trish Stratus. It's gonna be an awesome match, but you know it's not a hell in a cell. The roof of the cage is still open. I mean, the roof of the cage is still open, so Zoe Stark should still get into the cage. I mean, if if you even I mean look look even a hell in a cell match, you're um it's not. It's not, you know, you're not completely safe because the door can fall off or you can get in in some way, but still. But it's a lot harder to get into a Hell in a Cell ring than it is to um, get into a still, regular steel cage match. Twenty minutes, y'all. Twenty minutes, forty-four seconds. Twenty minutes, forty-four seconds. Forty seconds. Thirty-nine seconds. Thirty-eight seconds. Thirty-seven seconds. Thirty-six seconds. Thirty-five seconds. And she just keeps counting down. That's just sad, y'all, man. PDF of cancer, man. That's just. Something I don't understand. Um, I really don't understand it at all. How um, these kids could, would, you know, have to go through this stuff, and it's just, you know, it gets to me. It gets to me when I think about it, or when I see these, you know, um, different commercials on different hospitals or different things. It's like, you know, because it's like jokes aside. You know, the Mike Clay thing, the fly guy deal and different storylines with different people. It's just, it's just, you know, all that side, wrestling aside, it's like, I don't, you know, I'd like to make a kid happy. I'd like to be the one that a kid looks to and 
says I would like to be like that masked man, and um, it's just I'd like to be able to make kids happy. That's all, and um, I hate to have to go through that. I hate these kids are born with these problems, and they have to go through this, and it tears me up inside. It tears me up inside. It's hard for me to watch commercials like that. I just need to watch the commercial. Well, it's just wild. Funny. Things just sad, man. It's sad these kids go through this stuff, and um, it tears me up inside. Interesting. Sixteen minutes away, y'all. Sixteen minutes. I just listen to the commentary here. Sounds like uh, most people think that Raquel Riga is going to be the new champion tonight. Um, I just don't think it's going to happen. I think Rhea Ripley's going to retain.
I'm telling you, man. The, like I said, the women's championship match I'm waiting for is Ruby Soho and uh, Chris Statlander tomorrow night. And, I, you know, I keep plugging the AEW tonight, but that's what I'm looking forward to. That's what I'm looking forward to. I mean, Rey Mysterio, Austin Theory, that's going to be an awesome match tonight. And um, I'm, I'm predicting Rey Mysterio is going to entertain. That's what I'm figuring that. I'm figuring Rey Mysterio is going to entertain. I actually met Rey Mysterio. Um, I was younger. Uh, I, was, I was in like junior high and um, went to his, um, his outside of the Dalton Trade Center. And he was already in his, car, his rental car and he was leaving with Conan and um, got his autograph. It was pretty wild. Just listen to the commentary, so. Ten minutes. We're under ten minutes, y'all. Under ten minutes. What's this? Gear up for game day. Introducing NFL legacy titles. What in the world? NFL legacy titles. Pretty wild, y'all. Oscar.
All right, guys. Hey, Brian, what's up, man? How's it going? Any predictions for tonight? Any predictions? Comment your predictions, people. I'm telling you what, man, John Sands is going to be a factor in that LA night match. It's going to be a factor. And um, that might set up for something, depending on how it goes. And we already know that John Cena and the Miz don't get along. And they had their own little rivalry, rivalry going on, so. Um, Is this? John Cena. I wish he'd stick to acting. I really do. I mean, I was a John Cena fan for the longest. I mean, for the longest back in the day, back in the Marine days. But, I mean, nowadays I wish he'd stick to acting. I wish he would. That's what I mentioned earlier, y'all. That's what I mentioned earlier. Seth, Seth's back is broke. I mean, I don't see him coming through with this match and retaining the title successfully at all. I really don't. I see a new champion tonight. Just for the main fact that Seth, Seth's back is broke. And he's been wrestling with a broke back for years. And um, I just I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. I don't see a successful Seth Rollins. A victory tonight. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen at all. I'm telling you right. That, my mind, my mind's on Sinsuke. So it's like a kickboxer element, y'all. 
or a blood sport. This feels like a kickboxer or a blood sport element for tonight's championship match. Very high level. For all of those. World Championship matches. If Sinsuke doesn't win tonight, I'm going to be surprised. Thirty seconds. Here we go. Oh, we're gonna start with the cage match, y'all. There we go. Why wait? Why wait? There we go. Here we go. Then, now, forever. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Start with a cage match. Tell you what, man, it's just going to be a wild night. We're here at uh, Payback. Here, we're getting ready to watch Payback 2023. 
episode 10 of the Unknown Daily Assassin, Unknown Asylum Podcast, kicking off with a cage match. I, I'm telling you what, I don't know what I'm looking forward to most. Really, I, I'll tell you what I'm looking forward to most. It's the Chris Stanley and Ruby Soho match tomorrow night. I hope that maybe they'll kick that off first, too. And um, But um, as far as tonight, I don't know what match I'm looking forward to most. Um, I have my predictions. If you have any predictions, lay them out there for me. Um, but I know who I who I got in each each individual match. Ooh. L A night. Put your back. Here we go. Kicking it off. Let's kick it off then, y'all. Let's see this backstory. Look at some backstory here. Watch this backstory here between Becky Lynch and Trish Stratus. All right, let's fast forward through this now. Let's watch a still cage match. It's, I mean, it's going to be wild, man. There's no telling what to expect.
in this Whoa. Here we go. Man, Trisha is a heel. It's awesome. This is interesting. Stare down between Stretch Stratus and Becky Lynch right now. Just waiting for him to lock up. Ooh! Knocked into the top rope. Top turnbuckle. That slap, man. Ooh, brawling now. Taking Trish to each top turnbuckle and knocking her face in it. Back and forth, back and forth.
on the top rope, bouncing back and forth. And oh, and barely look at that. Chris Stratus taking control of this match. Ooh! Threw Lynch into the steel cage. I'm telling you what, this is a wild match already. Get a close up. Spine Buster. <laughs> Trish Stratus has control of this match, man. I'll tell you what. I don't even know who's going to win this match. I don't even know how to predict this match. Trish is in control of this match. She's dominating this match. She's dominated this match from the beginning of this match. Trish, uh, you know, Stratton is outside the ring watching this match. Um, Tiffany Stratton is, of course, the NXT Women's Champion watching this match. And um, I'm wondering if she might get involved in this match. I doubt it, but maybe she will. Maybe she won't. Who knows? Anything can happen in wrestling, that's what I know for sure. Oh, man. What's oh, Strat's going for a submission hold with an arm bar? Ooh! That's crazy, man. That's crazy.
Let's see something. I need to find something real quick. You know what I was looking for? I was looking for. My bed is my office. I'm gonna write down these match, these match victories, in case um this long long video doesn't post for some reason. Ooh, Trish Stratus hanging over the top rope. Looks like Becky's going to drop his big leg. Trish dropped the big leg there with with Becky hanging. You know, I mean, Becky dropped the big leg there with Trish hanging over the top rope. Becky's head, I mean, Trisha's head looks bruised. Oh! Oh man, this is crazy. Back and forth, back and forth. Trish looking to go over the top of the cage. Both feet must touch the floor. Oh! Trish is on Becky's shoulders. Here from Powerbomb. Oh man. Are oh, we taking a time out now, y'all? Looks like Becky going for the rock bottom. Oh. Widow's Peak! I'm telling you what, Becky is being beat, beat like a dog, man. It's just crazy. <laughs> Becky hit.
But it's the fight. That's what I was trying to think of. Matt Hardy's move. Oh, Bulldog up the second rope. Putting the boots to Becky. Dang, that's crazy, man. Trish going up top, trying to climb out of the cage up top, over the top. Oh! Bulldog from the top rope! Trish Trash shocked there that Becky kicked out. Becky's showing Trish why she's the man. Move this. There we go. That's a better view there. Very better view. As I said, this is episode 10 of the Unknown Asylum podcast with featuring my commentary on Payback 2023 tonight. I'm live on Facebook, but I'm also recording on my on my laptop here so I can post this everything I'm recording on live on Facebook to YouTube. Oh gosh, she has got an opening here. Got an opening here. Becky pulling look trying to pull Trish back into the ring. I'm Telling you what, it's just wild. As I, I said before, if anybody watching wants to post their predictions tonight in the comments, I'd appreciate it. It's just, ah, Trisha's leg is stuck in the top of the cage here. Becky's still fighting back. It's so, so this is gonna hurt somebody. Pulling Trish back into the cage. Oh my god. Suplex from the top of the cage. Break somebody in half, tell you. I'm telling you why you can count both of them out. Yeah. 
Becky climbing now up to the top of the cage. I'm telling you what, this is. Oh, God. She's going through the door. Becky coming back down. Stop Trish. That got war. What is going to happen here? Oh, slam that cage door in her head. I told you, I told you on the pregame show that it should have been a Hell in a Cell match because it'd be much harder for Zoe Starks to get inside a Hell in a Cell than it would be to get inside a regular steel cage, man. Regular steel cage. Oh, man. You better go, Trish. Becky did it. Even with the interference by Zoe Stark, Becky did it. Yep, that's one of those things. Becky Lynch did it. She has to be in championship contender right now. That match alone should give her a title shot. I'm telling you what, man. That was an awesome match. That was a that was on fire, man. That was a banger right there. Uh, what's going to happen now? Maybe Trish going to turn on Zoe Stark right now. Yep, I think we're going to see that.
It's terrible, terrible situation then. Where are we going to go from here? Match could be next. And it's Cisco and Narmora commercial again. I'm telling you what, this Seth Rollins Cisco Nakamura match is like kickboxer or something. Like I said earlier, it's like a kickboxer blood sport type element to it. It's just wild. Watch your back, dude. I do not see Seth Rollins retaining the championship tonight. I really don't. And I know I'm being silent some, but I do not see Seth Rollins retaining the championship tonight. Thank <laughs> you. 
John Cena. I'm telling you, I wish John Cena would just stick to acting. I really do. I wish he'd just stick to acting. I mean, was I a John Cena fan when he was originally? Yeah, I was. I was a John Cena fan. I was a John Cena fan during the, the Marine days. But it's like, do I care about John Cena anymore? No, I don't. I really don't. <laughs> I'll tell you, man. I just wish you'd stick to acting, that's all. I guess we're going to have that LA Knight mismatch. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Never been the host. Never been the host. Wow. Oh. Because of me is. I'll go back to what I was saying on the pregame show. It's like, will there be two misses if MJF comes over to the WWE in 2024? Uh, I just, I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. I don't see two people with the same gimmick on the. I just, I don't see it happening. With you as a host. <laughs> the Miz, man, you have to love me, cuz like it is. Got any advice? 
got to be better. Who gets referee? Respect. And I want to make tonight special. Asking you for help, man. Give me some advice. I gave me some advice. This is so funny, man. So hey, I'm, hey, I'm so silent right now. But the Miz and um, Miz and John Cena is cracking me up right now. Still doing the yes, Jen, seeing with Daniel Bryan not being there anymore. No more. LA night. LA night. You know, look, I've been watching L LA night since um, he was Eli Drink. And, um, I hated that they changed his name in WWE for the longest. The LA Knight is growing on me. It's growing on me. It is growing on me. It was growing on Unknown Daily and Assassin. And um It's just awesome. You know just one of those things is growing on me. And um LA Knight's my prediction to win this match tonight. Yeah. I'm going to be disappearing for a second. I've got to find a sweater to put on, y'all. It's cold in this house for some reason. I don't know why.
I mean, that's still, it's still the room. Really nice to put the music L.A. Knights brings A game. Ooh, L.A. Knights is right on top of the ball here. I'm telling you what. Losing my hair doesn't feel so bad when I see that John Cena's lost his hair, too. I'm telling you what, I don't see Miz winning this match, especially with John Cena being the guest referee. Is LA Knight bleeding from the nose? It looks like it. It's setting up the skull crusher finale. If LA Knight loses this match, I'm going to be shocked. I'm going to be shocked. Then again, in my opinion, the LA Knight should be Mr. Money in the Bank. Yeah. Oh. Not paying attention, not paying attention. Yeah.
bounced him over his head and into the timekeeper area. Yeah. What in the world? Oh, man. Crazy, y'all. Back and forth, back and forth. LA Knight is right on top and dominant in this match. Santa broke him up then. L.A. Knight putting the boots to Miz in the corner. Santa breaking up L.A. Knight now. That's a fast count, Santa. That's a fast count. Oh. Miz now taking control of this match. That's a slower count. That's a slower count for the for the Miz, but then when LA Knight was in, in the control of the match, that's a fast count, saying it's fast count. Oh! Oh! Code breaker in the corner! Oh man. Better check that choke. Oh man, I thought he was going to drop him on that turnbuckle post. Miz is taking control of this match. But Miz is virtually in a handicap match here with John Cena as the referee and LA Knight. You know, LA Knight's out of this match right now. Miz is still in a handicap match. Stole them from somebody that it kicks. Daniel Bryan. Another reference to Daniel Bryanson. It's, it's crazy, y'all. Crazy. A 
Watch the Miz up in the air. Oh, neck breaker there. Bulldog from the second rope. Me at my LA Knight on the Miz. That's a slow count, Cena. That's a very slow count. Wild, y'all. This is a wild match. LA Knights dominant in control, like I predicted. Cena coming back. Look where the famous are here. What in the world? Two DDTs back to back. Miz on LA night. I mean, it's channeling his inner energy. Well, he's not out of there. Wild DDT from the second rope. L.A. Knight on the Miz. Oh, Chinberger. Miz has the rope. Kick it. Oh, skull crushing finale. One, two, I kicked out. LA Knight kicked out the skull crushing finale. <laughs> oh! 
Blind Force Strong. One, two, three. L.A. Knight won like I predicted it. Yeah. Oh, gosh. L.A. night, baby. Have a shit match. Break from our sponsors. Ray Mysterio. Oh, man, this might be the end of the Latino world order.
Here we go. Here we go. Is Austin Theory going to win his belt back tonight? That's the question. I say he might, because I think the LWO is going to break up tonight. That's what I think. That's just my prediction. That's what I, my, my, my hand I'm putting out on the table right there. LWO breaking up tonight. What's PWO stand for? I just don't think the LWA is going to stay together tonight. I really don't. This is brought to you by Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I had Cinnamon Toast Crunch forever. Oh! There he's just taking it straight to Ray Mysterio right now.
Ooh. Gary taking taking to Ray Mysterio, knocking him to the ground. Because he's just he wants a title back. I mean, who who can blame him? He wants his title back. He wasn't prepared for the match that he got. Just like Mike Clay wasn't prepared for the match that he got. And um there is getting a rematch. Like Mike Clay should get a rematch. Ooh. Ah. Austin Theory mocking Rey Mysterio right now. It's crazy. Roll up, Rey Mysterio, roll up. One, two. Kicked out. Theory staying on top of Ray in this match, keeping him down. That's what he needs to do. So Ray can't possess his high flying abilities. There you stay on top of Ray Mysterio. This match is brought to you by Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Makes me want to makes me want a bowl of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh! They beating Ray Mysterio down. Ray Mysterio is just a corpse on that top turnbuckle. They're already trying to rip off the mask. Oh, Ray Mysterio coming back. Oh, 
Oh man. DDT on the concrete floor. Thank you, I'm waiting for the other WWE to break up tonight. Ready serious slides under the bottom rope, hooks Theory's head for a DDT. That's just wild, man. Ray Mysterio right on top of Theory, keeping him down. Setting up for the 619. Oh! Spin around, power bomb. Spinning, torture rack, sit down, power bomb. Say that three times very fast. Ooh. Ray's drop kick, drop kick, drop kick after drop kick. Both down for the count. Referee needs to start counting them out. The referee needs to start counting them out. There he got the mask again. Fists and leg shots back and forth. Oh! Oh, man! There he just bounced... Brandon right Sirius face off of his knee. Set up again for the 619. Kansas Ray retains. I want to know what the PWO stands for.
Becky Lynch. There's a title shot. Doodles. Time for the Pittsburgh Steel City Street Fight. Time for a little commercial break. The Judgment Day reminds me of the House of Black in a lot of ways. Dark, creepy, horror-related in a way. Uh -oh. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go now. The Pittsburgh Steel City Street Fight. Like I said in the kickoff show, I do not see the judgment they win in this match. I really don't. I don't see a title change in tonight with the attack team goes. Now, let me ask you this. When are they going to separate the tag team belts? When are we going to have a Raw tag team champion? A SmackDown tag team champion? Because, I mean, the Street Profits and Bobby Lashley are looking hot. I mean, they're looking worthy of tag team gold.
Where's the referee at? I still say this. Why hasn't Finn Balor got the gold yet? Why hasn't he? Why hasn't he been champion yet? When mommy's not happy, nobody's happy. <laughs> Here we go. Tag Team Championships on the line. Tell you what. It would be interesting if Judgment Day won. It would be interesting. I think Judgment Day needs more gold. I think Judgment Day needs either the Universal Championship, the WWE Championship, or the WWE Universal Championship, and the World Heavyweight title, man. I mean, feed them more gold. All four are starting off in the ring now, just slugging it out. It just... Just wild, man. Kevin Owens is a brawler, man. He's a brawler. Sami Zayn, he can take hits. Van Balor is a former Universal Champion. And even for a night, he's still a former Universal Champion. And um, Kevin Owens is a former Universal Champion. Oh, bring out the weapons, boys. Bring out the weapons. Here comes a steel head, a, a um, gathering of steel chairs, three of them. Oh, a kid with a kendo stick right across the face. Bring out the Legos, boys. Legos? <laughs> Bella bounced off the announce table two times. Two times, two times. Oh, no. Owens with the kendo stick. Lighting up Balor. And, and Damon's priest now got Owens off of Balor. So far, Balor and um, Priest are working pretty good together. I'll say that. Sammy Zayn over the top rope. It's crazy. Any Legos in there? Nope. Any trash cans?
Вот. Hey ho, paying homage to Terry, the late great Terry Funk, and they got Balor in a trash can. They're beating the beating the trash can with kendo sticks. <laughs> Van Balor is in the trash. Get the tables. Hmm. Ooh, Balor's out of the trash. Judgment Day's turn to take control of this match. Damien Priest directing traffic in there. Thanks, think KS is gonna move, you know? Putting the boots to Sami Zayn in the corner. Oh, Sami is out outside the ring. Pulling more chairs out from under the ring is Damian Priest. He's filling that ring up with chairs. This match has Street Fight written all over it. Not only in its title, but in its actions. Sammy Zane like Finn Balor up in the steel chair. They're out of the crowd now. Dominic Mysterio now getting involved in this match.
Oh gosh. <laughs> Started off a wrestling match, turned into a hockey game. This is so hilarious, man. Oh, this is blatant, y'all. Oh my gosh, this is just crazy. What is going to happen next? That's the question. That is the question. What is going to happen next? I mean, there's just wild all this action going on here. Finn Balor's trying his best to fight himself off. Try off Sami Zayn. I think Sami's going to be getting ready to move and Balor's getting ready to crash that chair into um, Damien Priest's face. Okay, I was wrong on that one too. Oh, uh, setting up chairs now. Race now in control of the hockey stick. Oh, break his back. Back and forth, back and forth action here. Taking it back to the crowd. Sammy Zane getting back in the fight now. Just crazy. What's Sammy armed with now? Rolling chair. Yeah, 
in the kickoff show section. Oh my gosh. Sammy on the kickoff show desk. Dominic's back in this match now. I just set up a table. I only just set up a table to put Dominic through. Kevin's going up high now. A swan time bomb. I think Kevin might be out of his match after that swan time bomb. Sammy Zayn might be defending the titles by himself for the remainder of this match. Oh! That was Zerwood there. Oh, what's going to happen here? Uh oh. Oh. Zane defending the titles by himself right now. And he's doing a daggum good job. Jim Ballard threw a table. This came down to a one-on-one -on -one match between Sami Zayn and Damian Priest right now. Kevin Owens back in the match. They're with one, two. Oh, off the announce table.
Ray Ripley and Ray Ripley's in the match now. Speared Evan Owens through the barricade. That might cost you later. This is wild. Sammy trying to get to his feet. Finn Balor trying to get to his feet. You can see the war wounds on Finn Balor's back. Sling blade. Coup de Gras. Missed it. Dominic Mysterio with the money in the bank briefcase. Will this be it? Oh my gosh, I was wrong. I admit it, I was wrong. Judgment Day just became the tag team champions. I'm in shock. I'm in absolute shock to see the Judgment Day with the titles. I shouldn't be, but I was wrong. That was wild. That was, that was the wildest street fight, tag team street fight I've seen in a long time since I don't know when. As well. I don't have all the gold knuckle call.
These NFL belts are just, just wild. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing, nothing else to say about that, but they're wild. I actually want to have a, a Carolina Panthers one. This is NXT. Thirtieth. Uh, that's probably gonna be next. Teddy Rhodes segment. <laughs> 